The CSIRO recently showed that rising work stress and mental health issues is going to be one of the top six megatrends to impact productivity for the next 20 years. And yet, 91% of employees don't believe that uh, their employer is doing a good job. Houston, we've got a problem. I recently became aware of this um, in a most dramatic way. Just before Are You OK Day, I shared my 2004 suicide note. I didn't know what to expect, but it went viral and had over 70,000 views and comments in just 18 hours. The ABC even picked it up and ran an article about it. What I learned from that is that there is a huge groundswell of employees wanting change. In fact, Superfriend research showed that over 40% of the Australian employees have left a job because of a poor mental health environment. So what can we do about it? What we need is a checklist. And through my background, I was in charge of a culture change division. I've taken thousands of leaders through workshops and I've interviewed some of the top people in this place. And what we produced is building a mentally healthy culture checklist. So inside this checklist, you'll find the burning case for change, inspiring Australian case studies. You'll see the actual checklist divided into preparation, launch and momentum. You'll see ideas that work in the Australian context. So what is the number one secret? What is the key to success? In our view, it's having a leadership team that are committed to change, that believe in creating a mentally healthy workplace. And ideally, and I think this is the perfect scenario, is when you have a divisional director that wants to champion it. Not HR, not work health safety, but someone that is operating a division. So below you'll find the checklist and how you can access the checklist. We really hope that you not only read it, but apply it, because we want to help you create a more mentally healthy workplace. Thanks for joining us on this quest.